Yes, sir. It's big. Uh, we've had a couple down years the past couple years behind, and you know, it just feels good to be on the, the upside of one of these Texas. I mean, we've been coming here for three years, and I've always been on the other side of this this game. So it feels wonderful to you know go go up with this team and you know get a victory here in Texas. You know, what's it mean to you to, to come up here and beat the sixth ranked team of the nation? I mean, it feels really, really, really good. I mean, I can't words can't express how much how how happy I am right now, and it's just so much confidence for us. The whole entire game, we didn't we didn't let up. We knew we didn't have a chance to beat these guys. Uh, no, sir. I huh? wasn't nerv nervous at all. I knew I was getting the start, man. We could go. So I mentally prepared myself for this. Just took like any other game. Yeah. I couldn't be more proud of these guys. You know, and I kept thinking the whole game, I was trying not to have just tunnel vision on these nine innings. I was really trying to think about you know, what we're going to be capable of over the next 50. You know, I was, I mean, literally through the middle innings, I'm thinking about, you know, how we're going to match up with teams in our league. And I know that sounds funny, but, you know, you're trying to see the big picture the whole time. And I promise you, that was the longest nine inning game to be sitting in here. Because, you know, to play with the lead, it's almost more pressure than the other way around, you know. And, and I literally kept looking up like it can't just be the fourth inning. It can't be the sixth inning, you know. And, um, but again, you know, I thought Texas, obviously, six or six or eighteen threw so many punches at us, especially late. And and I never saw any back down. Even at the end, when the ball gets away from Danny at third, I never saw any back back down. There's so much confidence in whether it's Simcoe on the mound, Boyle on the mound, you know the. And I don't know whether it's just to speak to the guys on the mound. It's the older group of hitters. There's so much confidence in this dugout that we haven't had before, and that's the difference. I mean, we knew we had a special team, and we got some great players. Uh, totally different team than last year. You know, we got new guys coming in. So, I mean, we felt confident, and we didn't they put on the spike same way as we do. So, we got them beat them. Oh, yes, sir. From from the first inning on, I mean, we came out, we scored two in the first, was it? Yeah. So, and just from there, we just kept putting out runs. I think they only, we, they only put up two zeros. On us, mm -hmm. and three, three zeros. Okay, yeah, we came out hitting. Uh, the offense was there. The Mesa did a wonderful job. I believe he was throwing a no hitter to a four or five. Yeah, he he came out and you know gave us what we needed out of our stars and the bats were there the whole game. So I mean, we knew from the get go we we had a good chance of giving these guys a run for the money. Uh, never our offense started scoring runs. It just made my confidence go up even more, knowing I could let them hit the ball more, put the ball in play, and let my defense work instead of me trying to strike out every run. You know. What sur surprised me, what I'm, again, maybe most proud of, how many innings we scored. You know, and I don't have it in front of me, but it wasn't like so we scored in six innings against a overly talented pitching staff. To score that much, you know, tells you a lot about this offense and what we're capable of, whether it's small game early with Vest and Merrick or whether it's those big guys banging balls in the gaps. You know, that's what I'm probably most, most proud of and going to take away from tonight is how much we scored and, and I think Mikey Boyle's ability to hang in there in the eighth, get that last big fly out that I think Matt Holland ran down in the gap, to hang in there and not lose that lead, turn the ball over. You know, Simcoe, I still think he looks like Andy Pettit when he comes out on the mound. And, you know, it's, it just feels really good to see those big, talented guys come in on the mound.